Thailand, a vibrant and busy nation, and the hustle and bustle of the city extends to the island of Phuket. But contrasting with this fast pace of life is a golf course dubbed the most relaxing in Phuket. The Lok Palm Golf Club is an oasis away from its hectic surroundings. Set against a typically tropical backdrop, as the name suggests, Lok Palm has some dominant features. As you can see behind me, we've got Crystal Lake, which is one of the largest lakes here in Phuket. Uh, basically, the course wraps around the lake. We've got about 1,300 palm trees uh, scattered along the course. And it's, it's not known to be a terribly difficult round of golf. Uh, it's quite relaxing. You've got wide fairways, and hopefully you'll leave with a smile. It's known as being relaxing mostly because of the location. Where we are now in Katu, I mean, we're surrounded by the Katu Mountains. There's always a breeze coming through. Uh, the course is not terribly difficult. So even if you haven't had around in a few weeks, months, you can still get around with a decent score and, and be quite happy. Lok Palm measures 6,555 yards and is just 18 years young. It was designed by Dr. Sukiti. Uh, and it's had a few minor renovations since then. which tried to keep more or less, as most good courses do, we've tried to keep the existing landscape uh, so it doesn't look man-made. It still looks very, very natural. A little bit undulating. The front nine is flatter than the back nine, which then goes up into the mountains and you'll have a few holes where you're going quite steeply uphill and then uh, the signature hole, hole 14, which is a par three, you're hitting downhill. It's 161 yards. Um, and from there you can see the green and quite a bit of the course. Early in your round, the dominant Crystal Lake is almost unavoidable. The third is a short par four. For the long, long hitters, if you can hit it almost 300, you've got a shot at the green, but it's very, very narrow. You've got water coming into play on the right-hand side. If you're going for the green, it then it comes right in directly in front of the green. Otherwise, it's a long iron or a three wood and then a chip into the green. Uh, the green itself is double tiered, sloping back to front. Uh, so pin placement, if it's in the back, is extremely difficult. If it's in the front, it's a little bit easier. Five is a long par five, impossible to hit in two. Uh, so it's a very, very long hole. Uh, you're hitting driver, obviously. Then hopefully three wood if you've got a decent lie. And then you've probably got a, a seven iron coming into the green. So it's quite a test of strength and hitting the ball straight. Uh, the green itself is not terribly difficult. So once you're there, it's normally an easy two par. The completion of your first nine brings you back to the clubhouse and Crystal Lake. At two million cubic square metres, the lake isn't just a water hazard. This is uh, the only course in Phuket where we have a floating driving range, so you're hitting balls into the lake to warm up. Unfortunately, the weather's not too great today, so as you can see, it's a bit grey behind me, but uh, that's it there. Uh, unfortunately, you lose a bit of distance, but uh, it is something interesting that's a gimmick, and at least you're not scared of hitting balls in the water before you, you tee off. 800 balls are fished out of the lake on a busy day. But as we continue our round, it's elevation, not water, that's the challenge. The 11th hole is an uphill par five, reachable in two if you hit it uh, long enough. I really like the layout of this hole because it's one of those holes where you can really see the hole going up and it's ascending to the green. Uh, you can't really see the green until you're on the green. So it's one of those things where you have to really talk to your caddy, get a bit of information about pin placement and hit a decent shot and make sure you give it a bit extra to get it up there. But it's, it's more or less the scenery, I think, that makes the hole and just seeing the hole as it ascends up. Here we are on the 14th hole at Lock Palm Golf Club, our signature par three, 161 yards. It's about 80 feet downhill, so you're taking 10 to 15 yards off the yardage. So it's about an eight iron or a seven iron, maybe a nine iron if you're a long hitter. The green itself is quite daunting. You've got water to the left, uh, in front of the green and on the back. You've got a bailout to the right, but you've got two bunkers there as well. So it does take quite a, an accurate, decent shot to make the green. Uh, the green itself is sloping again back to front and it's uh, quite a daunting hole. Behind me, you can also see the rest of the course. You've got the front nine, uh, you've got Crystal Lake, and you've also got the 15th hole. So up here, you get a, a nice view of the entire course. Uh, let's see how I go. OK, a little bit fat there, but uh, lucky he got away with it. I'm on the green. Let's see if I can capitalise and make the birdie. All right, here we are on the green. Um, 
I've got about a 12 foot putt downhill, uh, a little bit left to right, and the green's a little bit moist from the rain, so it shouldn't be too quick. Let's give it a go. All right, good to get birdie there on the 14th, our signature hole. Let's go have a look at the finishing hole now and the features there. 18 is again another par five, uh, dog leg to the left. Um, reachable in two, you've got uh, the lake, which covers the right-hand side of the hole. It takes a very, very good drive, not in terms of length, but in terms of placement, to then have a shot or an angle into the green. Otherwise, it's just a layup and then a wedge in. Providing you avoid the array of bunkers guarding the 18th green, next stop is a well-earned drink in the open-air clubhouse. With Thailand's tropical temperatures, a cool breeze off the lake is a welcome relief on a hot and overcast Phuket day. The clubhouse here at Lok Palm we just renovated last year. Um, we put about 1.5 million US Australian into that. Um, we've also got a new hotel, 47 rooms, which acts as our golf lodge. Uh, and that's overlooking the first hole here, so we've got some great stay and play packages. Golfers can come up, stay here for a few days, have a few rounds of golf incorporated at a very, very good rate. Yeah, and we've got plans in the future for swimming pool facilities, spa, fitness. Uh, we're planning to start construction at the end of this year, and that'll be finished hopefully June next year. Phuket's reputation as a golfing destination continues to grow. And Lok Palm, being just seven kilometres from Phuket town, is a relaxing getaway for visitors from New Zealand and elsewhere around the world. Well, Lok Palm's known as being fairly popular. Um, clientele, we've got a lot of Aussies coming through. Uh, Singaporeans, Thais, Malaysians, Europeans, I mean, really from everywhere. Um, it's proximity to Phuket town and the main beach Batong area, which makes it easy for people to come up and then they can head back very easily. So it's not a terribly long trip to the course. We've got eight courses here in Phuket. So there's a, there's a lot of options for golfers coming in and it's becoming more and more of a golfing destination uh, for golfing travellers. Um, but Lock Palm itself, I think, has a great character to it. You won't be disappointed. The quality of the course, um, we're always looking after the greens. Uh, and uh, yeah, you should definitely come along and try it for yourself.